All right, so we've done a lot of work to her so far. Got the throttle fixed, so it's working good now. Engine fires. I still have to clear the clog in the fuel tank, but I don't think that's a big issue. Took the rear wheel off today. And as you can see in here, I don't know where my light just went, but whatever. The splines are worn, but they're you know, not too bad. The funny part is the outside looks not too bad. Ugh. That's what the inside looks like. Hmm. <laughs> that could definitely cause some propulsion issues. So it should be fairly apparent that that is supposed to be splined like the outside and there's there's literally nothing left of it It's got bad gas in it. Well, I can smell it from up here. I, I didn't realize, but when I put the fuel line from the tractor onto the bike, I had some of that old bad gas in the tractor, because it don't give a shit. That thing will burn pretty much anything. <clears throat> so now it's going to be a little rough on the starts until I get some, uh, some fresh gas going through those carbs again. Which shouldn't be too long because it's, 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 it, well, it's right there. It's literally at the point where I'm ready to put a new fuel filter on it, put some gas in the tank, and uh, take it for a test drive. Diff's been checked over. The uh, universal joint up at the front has been checked over. Neutral works. Clutch works. Rear pads are brand new. All three calipers have been physically unseized and oiled and everything. Not the discs, but the calipers. <laughs> so all three of the calipers are free flowing and work well. Oh, universal joint in here was greased and recovered. We have brand new oil and oil filter. We have 
uh, clean coolant anyway. It's not new, but it's clean. It's still, you know, see-through and green, so coolant's good. No leaks. Engine does not leak. So rad fan bypass, stereo bypass for the, uh, yeah, for these, the input cables. So it's got the stereo bypass and the fan bypass. The only thing it doesn't have is a front brake handle. But I mean, that's, that's minor. Um, all the air suspension stuff is still on the bike except for the control panel and obviously the CB, but personally I don't care about the CB. Just put a random one on so it has brakes. Can't find the friggin' back for it. So anyway guys, that's it for now. Wanted to give you that update. Like I said, everything's working. I just need a fuel filter. And probably like 20 bucks worth of gas in this pig. <clears throat> and I'm going to be taking this battery with me when I do the test ride. Because I have a funny feeling that if I stall it on this little itty bitty battery, it won't be able to start back up. So I'll keep the jumper cables hooked up how they are just for the test ride. And uh, whoever buys this bike is going to be getting a brand new battery with it. I just, I just don't see a point buying a brand new battery right this second. 